Okay, so I am coming up on about a month now that I have been using my Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. And let me tell you, the experience with the S24 Ultra has been absolutely amazing. I love this device right here. I am calling this the everything phone because it takes care of everything that I needed to and just so much more. What's going on everyone? Josh Kenyon is here. That's right. In this video, I'm going to be sharing what my overall experience has been like with the Galaxy S24 Ultra since I've had it day one. But the first thing we got to talk about is just the overall price of this device right here. Because as many of you may know, yes, this is an expensive phone. It's a lot of money coming at around $1,300 starting out for the 256 gig of my model. Yeah, it could be a lot of money, but if you bring in the trade-in deals, you can still get up to $750 off instant credit with the qualifying trade-in, which brings that price down to around 550 bucks here in the US. And that makes this phone a great deal. If you can get that much trading credit, bring it down to 550 bucks, that's a really good deal for the Galaxy S24 Ultra. But if you do want to see what kind of deal Samsung has going on, I'm going to have a link down in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. But if you are someone who has an S23 Ultra, I actually have a full comparison video if you want to go check that out. But if you can't see yourself upgrading to the S24 Ultra because you feel they're too similar, honestly, you are good to go. The S23 Ultra is still a beast of a device. It's still running that Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which is taking care of work on that device. And all of the AI features that are on the Galaxy S24 Ultra right now will still be coming to the S23 Ultra here in the near future. You just gotta be a little patient and you will still be getting all of those AI features. So if you can't see yourself upgrading here to the S24 Ultra, you don't, don't worry, you don't have to feel bad. You still have an amazing device that will still last you maybe the next two, three, four years. It is still an amazing device. So. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the overall design of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. So starting off with the back of the phone, I did get the titanium color and it is looking beautiful. It's got a nice matte frosted finish in the back, soft to the touch, feeling really good in the hands. And then going around the outer parts of the device, we now have a titanium frame when it comes to the Galaxy S24 Ultra here, making it more durable than last year's Galaxy S23 Ultra, and it is just super nice as well and has a more premium look to it. Feels good in the hands, also soft to the touch all around the edges, the top and bottom of the device, and also it does not attract any fingerprints like with the glossy finish of the Galaxy S23 Ultra. So this matte finish around the device is actually really, really nice. And then going over to the display, we now have a flat display rather than you know a slightly curved edge display like what we have with the S23 Ultra. And honestly, for me personally, I never really minded those slightly curved edges on the S23 Ultra. I actually kind of liked them because you know, it just made the phone a little bit easier to hold in the hand. It felt really good in the hand, but you know, this flat display is also nice. So honestly, I'm good with either or. Of course, with this completely flat display, it does make the display look bigger and it gives us more room to use the device and it just makes it easier to use the S Pen on those edges as well. So I will say that. And aside from the display being completely flat now, it is also an anti-glare display, which I absolutely love about this display here on the S24 Ultra because not only is it, you know, bright enough to where we can use it out in bright sunlight, but we're also not going to get, you know, the glare that we would if we didn't have this anti-glare display. As you can see here, holding the phone in front of the ring light, you're not seeing it too much now. It doesn't, it's not a pain to look at this display. Not that it was a pain before, but it just makes it even easier to see what you're doing on the Galaxy S24 Ultra display right here. And just talking about the display overall, I mean, it is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful display. I mean, the colors look great and this is post new update. So yes, I did get the new update. I updated it and we now have, you know, a more vibrant display if we decide to go that route where the colors can just really pop out at you looking real vibrant, real vivid. And this Samsung, I mean, if you know a Samsung display, you know a Samsung display. They always put the best displays in their smartphones and the Galaxy S24 Ultra right here has got to be one of the best displays that I have ever seen on a smartphone. It gets bright, it's beautiful, colorful, and the, I mean, it's you're getting a crystal sharp, clear image. Watching content on this display is super enjoyable because yeah, you're getting this big display, but it's also really bright, the colors look good, and it just makes content uh, viewing just so much more enjoyable on here. Not only that, but playing games as well is very enjoyable on this nice, big Big, beautiful display. And then of course we have that in-display fingerprint sensor which I personally use and it works every single time. It has never missed for me using this in-display fingerprint sensor and it does seem 
like it has been improved a little bit, you know, compared to the Galaxy S23 Ultra. It seems like it's working just a little bit faster. Uh, I mean, it was already fast before. It's even faster now. And it, like I said, it works every single time and it is just great to use. And of course, we also have that always on display, which could definitely come in handy if I don't want to have to, you know, unlock my phone just to see what notifications I have, or if I have a missed call or to check the time or the date or anything like that. So the always on display that we're able to use here on the Galaxy S24 Ultra is also nice, but beautiful looking device. And of course, for a device that looks as beautiful as the Galaxy S24 Ultra, you're gonna wanna keep it protected. So why not check out some skins or a case from our sponsor of today's video, Dbrand. Now, first off, if you're just looking to add some style to your Galaxy S24 Ultra, maybe protect it from scratches, maybe you're not really a case person, well, Dbrand offers tons of skins to style up your Galaxy S24 Ultra, like this one right here. This is their X-ray skin in that light mode, making it look like you can see in to your Galaxy S24 Ultra. But if this is not for you, they got tons of other skins to choose from on their website. But if you wanna take protection to the next level and style, that's where their grip case comes in. And this case right here, let me tell you, this is going to provide some amazing protection for your Galaxy S24 Ultra. I have done a drop test using this case on this device. I threw the phone around, dropped it, a number of times and the Galaxy S24 Ultra still came out looking like new. You can add some style to the back with the number of skins they have available. Like you see here, this is their X-ray dark skin, but again, they have tons of other skins to choose from to apply to this grip case. And then you're gonna get great protection for the cameras, great protection for that display. But then not only that, but you also get amazing grip all the way around the case. So it doesn't slip out of your hand, pocket or bag. So if you're looking to style up your device with the skin or maybe protect it with the grip case right here for your Galaxy S24 Ultra, make sure to check out our sponsors, Dbrand. Again, huge thanks to Dbrand for sponsoring this video. I'll have a link down in the description below. Okay, now let's talk about performance with the Galaxy S24 Ultra right here because like I said at the beginning of this video, this is the everything phone and it has been handling everything like a boss. This is running the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor made for Galaxy devices and it does work on this device right here. I mean, not only am I able to easily, you know, scroll through the phone, super snappy through my app drawer and go in and out of apps and all that, but I'm also able to edit all of my 4K videos for the channel here on this device right here. Like the video that you're seeing right now has all been edited here on the Galaxy S24 Ultra, as you can see here. And yeah, this phone is doing work. And not only that, but it also takes care of all my thumbnail editing. I'm able to do all of my emails on this device, all of my multitasking, which it handles like a boss. I'm able to use, you know, have two windows open at the same time. If I wanna be on YouTube and Twitter at the exact same time, I can have a floating window up at the exact same time. I mean, multitasking works great on this device right here, especially because of this big display. And not only that, but it handles gaming like a boss as well. And I actually have a dedicated gaming video here on the channel as well, if you do wanna check that out. And it performs great, with, especially when playing heavy games like Call of Duty Mobile, PUBG, even Fortnite running that 120 hertz, because yes, this display right here does have that 120 hertz of just buttery smoothness. And let me tell you, it is butter, 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 butter. But gaming runs great here on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. And I never really have any moments where I notice it to, uh, to, to overheat or get, or get super hot. But then again, we're not in summertime yet. I have not used this out in, you know, direct super hot, you know, sunlight in, you know, hot weather. So I'm not really sure how it's going to do during the summertime, but I know right now when just throwing everything at it, it still performs great, no problems at all. And then of course we have Samsung DeX as well, which a lot of people seem to overlook sometimes. This is like a little mini PC in your pocket. You can connect it to a bigger screen and get that PC experience, making it feel like you're on a computer on a big screen, but using your Galaxy S24 Ultra, it's amazing. You got a little computer here in your pocket, but not only that, me personally, not, I, I haven't just used DeX to be able to do, you know, do certain things on my big screen TV, but I've also used it kind of as like a little mini gaming console. So I've actually hooked this up to the TV using DeX, opening up Fortnite, hooking up my uh, wireless controller Bluetooth to the device, and I can play it as if I'm playing on my PlayStation, which is super cool. Yeah, there is a little bit of latency, I, I will say that, but 
I mean, if you're out traveling, maybe you're in a hotel or something, you don't have your gaming console with you. Well, hey, hook up decks with your Galaxy S24 Ultra and just take care of business. Now, of course, with this being the Ultra device, which is also in the family of the past Note devices, of course, we can expect it to come with an S Pen, which is going to come with all of the great S Pen features that we all love and know about here on the device. And it, yes, it still works. It still has that Bluetooth compatibility. So, you know, if you want to take photos without having to set a timer or, you know, actually press the screen on the device, you can use the button here on the S Pen to take big group family photos or take pictures of yourself or record videos of yourself. You can use it as a, a wand to switch up, you know, cameras or, you know, camera modes or whatever. I mean, the S Pen, there's so much that you can do with this S Pen right here. And for me personally, it comes in handy every single day for me personally. I use this to help edit my videos and especially my thumbnails here on the channel. So for me, the S Pen is a big deal and just something that I find myself using every single day. And for most people, I mean, not most people, but for some people, you might not even find yourself ever using the S Pen because, I mean, if you have a phone right now that doesn't have an S Pen, I mean, and you go to a phone that does have it, you might not find yourself using it, but there's going to come a time where you do need it and hey, it's going to be there. So it's better to uh, how does how does the saying go to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it? You know what I mean? So the S Pen definitely doing work here on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Okay, now what is next? Because there's just so much to talk about here with the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Oh, that is right. The AI capabilities that this phone has now. Samsung has made this an AI device. And I'll be honest with you guys, there's a lot of the AI features on here that I personally don't really ever find myself using. I don't use the AI features on here all the time. I mean, I never really felt a need for them before with the Galaxy S23 Ultra. So coming into the Galaxy S24 Ultra, I kind of didn't even really go looking for them because I kind of just did things as I normally do. But when I did kind of start getting into the AI features here, they can actually be very useful, especially when it comes to phone calls. It has a live translate where it will actually translate what the other person is saying to you. It, they'll, they can literally talk in their language. And like for me, you know, I talk English, so it'll translate it in English for me, like talking to me in English or vice versa. And it, it's actually a really cool, useful feature. And not only that, but one thing that I now have fun with is the AI feature that is within the text messaging or just writing notes or emails. It can literally give you different writing modes that can change up your text. Either you're making it sound more professional, more cool, more hip. There's even a mode called Shakespeare, which you know makes it sound like you're talking like Shakespeare, which I always use to mess around with my sister or other people I text. And it's just something fun to use. But aside from the live translate and you know the editing of text and all that, you can also use AI features to edit photos as well. You can, you know, tap and hold a, a certain subject to cut it out or move it around, or you can, you know, draw around something that you either want move, deleted or you know you can expand it to make it bigger and it will literally change up that picture for you and just make everything work and it pretty much looks like you I mean you can't even really tell sometimes and it looks like that's the actual photo you took when it's actually really not so definitely some cool um AI uh, features when it comes to photo editing as well. And then one thing I have a lot of fun with is the AI wallpaper generator. So the way I've been getting my wallpapers now for the S24 Ultra right here is through their AI generative uh, wallpaper system here where it lets you, you know, pick a certain topic and then certain words you can change up and depending on what words you pick and what colors you pick, it'll work, it'll do its magic, do its magic and then give you a selection of wallpapers to choose from based off of the different things that you pick. And sometimes Sometimes it comes up with some really cool wallpapers, real colorful wallpapers, ones that can really pop on this beautiful display here on the S24 Ultra. So it's just something uh, fun and cool to mess around with. Sometimes my daughter gets on there like, hey dad, let me make some wallpaper. So it can definitely be something fun to mess around with. But of course, with a device that comes with all of these features that performs as great as it does, of course, you're going to want it to last all day. Well, let me tell you, you will not be disappointed with the battery life here on the S24 Ultra. I have gotten amazing battery life here on the S24 Ultra, coming with a 5,000 milliamp battery. But just the way they made it work with that Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor and the size of the battery here, I mean, they really made it work to where 
This is an all-day phone. It can easily be a two-day phone, you know, depending on how you use it. Of course, everybody's usage is different, so not everybody's going to get the same results. I do have an all-day battery drain test here on the channel as well if you want to check that out, but I'm easily getting around eight, nine hours of screen on time, sometimes even 10 hours of screen on time. Again, depending on what I'm doing on my device right here, but definitely an all-day phone. I don't ever have to worry about throwing this phone on the charger midday or even late into the night. I mean, this is lasting me all day long. So if you're worried about battery life, just stop it. Stop it. Don't worry about battery life. Battery life is going to last you here on the S24 Ultra. Okay. Now the one thing I'm sure you all have been waiting for the camera. So first off, let's talk about photos. I have been able to capture some great shots with the cameras on the S24 Ultra right here, whether I'm using the ultra wide angle lens, the main lens, both telephoto lenses. We have a three times telephoto lens and a five times telephoto lens, which is different from the Galaxy S23 Ultra before with the 10 times telephoto lens, but this one is a 50 megapixel lens. So even if we zoom in 10 times, we're still going to get that clarity that we get with the 10 times telephoto lens on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. So Samsung did a good job this time with that. And let me tell you, I have never had more fun taking photos with telephoto lenses on my smartphone. I mean, yeah, I have with the Galaxy S23 Ultra, but I'm having just as much fun here with the S24 Ultra. Like I said, I've been able to capture some great shots whether it's you know a selfie of myself or a picture of just a big scenery or of different things, whether it's daytime or nighttime, because even at night, I've still been able to capture some great shots. Now I will say that shutter lag is still slightly there. So if you're trying to take a picture of a quick moving object, yes, it will come out a bit blurry. Now, yes, there is an option to be able to set the cameras to where it will instantly take a photo once you press the shutter button, but that prioritizes speed over picture quality. And for me personally, I like to have the best picture possible. So I like to keep it balanced, you know, a little bit of speed, but some really good picture quality. So I kind of leave it the way it is. And like I said, I'm able to capture some great shots, but I don't know. You let me know what you guys think just based off of the photos that I'm showing here in this video. And of course we still have that 100 time zoom, which yeah, it still isn't, you know, the best quality that you're going to get in a photo. They still look like oil paintings, but it's still a cool feature that is still cool to show off or even cool to use. And it can still come in handy if there's something super far away that you can't make out what it is with your eyes alone, but you can use your hundred times zoom to zoom in. You can still make, you know, make out, make it out for the most part of what it is you're zooming into. Or if there's a sign far away, you need to read it. You'll still be able to read it with a 100 times zoom here on the S24 Ultra. So, I mean, overall cameras, when it comes to photos, really, really good. I really don't have any major complaints when it comes to the cameras. Now, when it comes to a video, same thing. I mean, I've been using this phone to record a lot of the videos here on the channel that aren't about this device, of course, but you know, about other devices or whatever it is I'm doing. I mean, the video, I've been impressed with the video quality here on the S24 Ultra, whether I'm recording at 4K 30 frames per second or 4K 60 frames per second, we also have an option in pro mode to record at 120 frames per second. And of course, you're only going to want to do that if you're going to slow the video down to get some good slow motion kind of cinematic footage. That's really probably, I, I mean, at least for me, that would be the only time that I use that 120 frames per second. But I did take, you know, a quick video sample of the front facing camera and rear facing cameras at 4K 30 frames per second. Y'all let me know what you think. All right. So just a quick little 4K video test here for you guys, starting off with the front facing camera at 4K 30 frames per second. What do you guys think? What do y'all think? Let me know down in the comment sections below. Also, let me know what you think about overall sound quality as well. How well the mics are picking up my voice and the background sounds around me. Got a couple ducks quacking in the background got a little waterfall going on back here so yeah what are your overall thoughts again front facing camera at 4k 30 frames per second let's go and check out the rear facing camera so now taking it over to the rear facing camera here at 4k 30 frames per second again watching the duckies swim around got the little water fountain going on over there but yeah what do you guys think about just the overall video quality the colors as well as you can see we got different types of colors here in this shot we got the blue sky we got the green trees green grass we got the water we got the cement over there we got the brown sand over there so what do you think about the colors as well of course we do have the option to use that ultra wide angle lens so just getting a quick shot there and then we also have the option to use the three times telephoto which is looking good here in my opinion. Get a closer look at the duckies here. And then we also have the option to use the five times telephoto lens. Look at how good that looks. And then we are also able to zoom in 20 times. And even at 20 times zoom, look at how good that looks. 
taking it back to the main lens. So what do y'all think? Again, 4K 30 frames per second here on the rear facing camera of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. If you want to see some night footage, I will leave a link to my full 4K video test down in the description below so you can go ahead and check that out. But again, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. So there you have it, just a quick 4K video test. If you want to see more at 4K 60 frames per second with the front and rear cameras and some more night footage, you can check out my dedicated 4K video test with the S24 Ultra right here. But as you can see, overall, I mean, video quality is great with the S24 Ultra right here. And then when it comes to just, you know, more uh, camera modes here on the S24 Ultra, we also have, you know, the expert RAW mode. We got a pro camera mode. Me personally, I'm still not the best when it comes to using that pro mode when taking photos. But if you are a professional photographer, you might have a lot of fun taking photos with the S24 Ultra and it even has a pro video mode as well if you want to make your videos look more professional and then of course we also have a portrait video mode which I have used here on the channel as well and in that 4k video test so I mean overall I have a lot of fun with the cameras here on the S24 Ultra but overall I mean the Galaxy S24 Ultra has just been an amazing device the experience has been great and I know it seems like I've been praising this device this whole video no this is not sponsored by Samsung or any anything like that I have just been really enjoying the Galaxy S24 Ultra this is almost a perfect phone almost because yeah there are some things that I I guess I wish could be added to this device first of all yes I do think the price is a bit high the starting price but I also wish that they would have added an SD card slot I know that's dead on a lot of phone it's been dead for years but it would be nice to add in some extra storage without having to actually pay extra for that storage. You know what I mean? I mean, they did it before, why can't they do it again? And I've also been enjoying the IR blaster on my uh, OnePlus 12, so it would have been nice to have an IR blaster here on the S24 Ultra as well. I mean, this is the flagship of all flagship devices right here, so why not put it in there? And one thing that has become a small annoyance for me is, I, and I, it's probably not going to be a big deal to everybody, but for me it is because I do use it a lot, and that's the voice to text and where it's at. So the voice to text icon is now on the bottom left rather than up at the top right of the keyboard. And with the S23 Ultra, it was just so much easier to use because it was right there, right where my thumb sits and I can just press it, use my voice to text, end it, send it. But now, because the phone is so big, I can't reach, I can't reach down to the bottom left of the device to hit that voice to text button. I gotta kinda, you know, maneuver the phone or maneuver my hands or something, or bring in my other hand to tap that voice to text button and then do what I gotta do and then send it. Like I said, it was just easier before, but because now that we have that little AI icon up there in that little, little bar, I guess you would say, where all the other icons are, they've moved that voice to text icon down to the bottom left. And that's just been kind of an annoyance because like I said, I use voice to text all of the time. But other than that, I mean, the S24 Ultra, you cannot go wrong with this device right here. And I can already see it. I can already see it by the time the end of the year comes, this is going to be the number one phone for a lot of people. This is definitely one to try and beat this year, or I should say it's gonna be hard to beat this year, but an amazing device, the Galaxy S24 Ultra. So that's been my experience with the S24 Ultra right here. I've been loving it. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comment sections below if you do have one for yourself. How's it been treating you? How's your experience been? Let me know, I would love to know. If you did like this video and find it helpful, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications so you're not missing out on any other future videos to come. Don't forget to check out our channel sponsor, the brand down in the description below to check out a skin or a case for yourself. Thanks for watching. This is Josh Quinones. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.